the sizing of the 250 millimeter squared device. It's designed so that it can fit between the muscles. There is no encroachment underneath either the superior rectus or the lateral rectus if you're implanting in the supratemporal quadrant. And this should also make the implantation process much easier with less manipulation and movement of the muscles. With the 350 version, you do have to isolate the muscles and there's a nice wing that tucks below the superior and the lateral rectus muscles. Patients that have two well-sided eyes, I might go toward the smaller device just to reduce the chance for diplopia. Another consideration is our, our target pressure. Now, most studies have suggested that a 250 design gets just about as much pressure lowering as a 350, but in general for my more advanced patients, especially monocular patients, I'll go toward the 350 design. The 250 design and the 350 design will be useful depending on individual patient selection. 